so in the previous video we introduced the idea of or um, not really an idea but we introduced um, the concept of longitude and latitude um, and how those are measured and how it's a sort of grid system uh, that we use on the surface of the earth um, in order to locate points and so what we want to look at over the course of the next two videos is being able to use that grid system of longitude and latitude to calculate distances between points on the Earth's surface. Um, and what we're going to focus on today is calculating distances using something that we call great circles. So on any sphere, a great circle is a circle that lies on the surface of the sphere so that it has the same diameter as the sphere. Okay, so for example, if we're imagining um, the Earth as a sphere, um, the equator would be a great circle. Okay, that circle around the equator has exactly the same diameter as the sphere. So it has a diameter of 6,400 kilometers, which remember is our approximate, um, sorry, radius of, so diameter, have the same diameter and same radius therefore. Sorry, so the Earth has a um, radius of 6, 000, approximately 6,400 kilometers and hence a diameter of, uh, what would that be, 12,800 kilometers. Um, and so the equator would have that same radius and that same diameter as the um, sphere itself. The same would be true if we thought about um, lines of uh, longitude. So if you think about um, the prime meridian okay, um, and the anti-meridian, those two meridians together form one complete circle and that circle has the same radius as the sphere. Okay, It goes the whole, the the longest possible distance around the sphere. And that would be true not just for the um, prime meridian and the anti-meridian, but for any meridian and its anti-meridian. Okay, so for example, if we were on the 10 degree meridian of longitude, um, so let's say um, in this diagram here, let's say this blue line is representing the prime meridian, then the 10 degree east, I should say, would be just 10 degrees further around than that. And so the anti-meridian to that would be the 170 degree west meridian and that circle would also form a great circle. Okay, So a great circle, a circle that has the same radius and the same diameter as the sphere itself. Okay, so if we want to find distances between points on the Earth's surface using great circles, we would be looking at points that lie on the same meridian of longitude or that both lie on the equator. Okay, If we were looking at two points that lie that lied, that lay on the same um, parallel of latitude, okay, the circle down here at this parallel of latitude, for example, doesn't have the same radius as the um, that of the Earth. It's got a, it's a smaller circle down here. And so we'll look at calculating those sorts of distances in the next video. So in this video, we're just focused on um, where two points lie on a great circle. Well, in fact, any two points lie on a great circle, but for the um, in terms of the Earth, we'll focus really just on lines of um, two points on the same line of or meridian of longitude. So, what we need to understand is, if we connect two, two points on the Earth's surface that lie on a great circle, we form an arc with its center at, with its um, center at the center of the Earth. So, if we think about these two points here, let's say that's point A and point B, okay, they lie on that same uh, meridian of longitude and so therefore that circle is a great circle and therefore if it's a great circle, the centre of that circle is at the centre of the Earth and that means we can make use of the radius of the Earth which is 6,400 kilometres. So essentially this here is a sector of a circle where the radius is 6,400 kilometres, we're interested in finding the arc length from A to B, and we can use what we know about longitude and latitude to work out the angle between those two points. So that's really the key. We're, we're bringing together our um, circle geometry of um, latitude, uh, sorry, of arc length, um, along with our understanding of the geometry of the Earth. Okay, so if we recall that when we're calculating an arc length, we need to use the angle at the centre of that arc and divide that by 360 because then we're working out what fraction of the total circumference of the circle the arc comprises. And so to calculate arc length, it is the angle at the um, centre of the sector formed by that arc or subtended by that arc, remember that word, um, divided by 360 multiplied by the total circumference length of the circle. So in this case, that would be um, theta over 360 multiplied by pi d, which is circumference, or we more commonly refer to 2 pi r, and particularly given that it's the radius of the Earth that we know, we'll be using 2 pi r. Okay, so let's look at an example then. So in the previous lesson, we discovered that k 
Cape Town and Budapest lie on the same meridian. They both lie on the 19 degree east meridian. And we also calculated that the arc that joins them subtends an angle of 81 degrees at the centre of the Earth. And so using this information, along with the fact that the Earth can be approximated by a sphere of radius 6,400 kilometres, we can calculate the distance between the two cities. Okay, So if we have a look here, we essentially create this sector here that I'm just outlining in red again. So if I were to draw that out, we essentially have the centre of the Earth, we'll label that as O, we've got Budapest up here, and we've got Cape Town down here. Um, and we already worked out that there was 81 degrees between them, and we worked that out because we knew about their, um, sorry, we knew about their latitudes. So if that was the equator there, we knew, for example, the relative latitudes of each, and we worked out the 81 degrees in the middle. Um, and so now, essentially, we're just finding an arc length. Oops, sorry. So now we know that the radius of that is 6,400 kilometres, and so arc length is going to be 81 over 360, so that's our angle divided by 360 to work out what fraction of the total circumference of the whole um, circle that we have, and then multiply by 2 pi r, so 2 pi times 6,400. And if we put that in our calculator, we get 81 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 times pi, and times 6,400. Now, if we don't press Control Enter, we get the exact answer of 2,880 times pi. But Control Enter, we can give that answer to the nearest kilometer. Now, obviously, that isn't actually a distance correct to the nearest kilometer because the 6,400 is an approximation. Um, but it's as it's as good an approximation as we can possibly make um, to the nearest kilometer. So just over 9,000 kilometres between Budapest and Cape Town in a north-south direction along that great circle, which is the meridian of lat uh, longitude. Okay, so let's have a look at an example ourselves. So calculate the distance between two points that lie on the equator. Okay, so the equator is a great circle. That's important. Okay. I'm sorry, try to make that legible. A great circle. Circle. Um one at a longitude of 36 degrees west and the other at a longitude of 123 degrees east. Give your answer correct to the nearest kilometer. Okay, so let's imagine that we're looking down on the earth from a bird's eye view. This line here that I've just drawn is the equator. So it has a radius of 6,400 kilometers. Um, let's put in our, um, so there's a, it's gonna have our center of the earth and let's put in our prime meridian. Okay, all right, so one has a longitude of 36 degrees west. Okay, so remember west is going around this way from the prime meridian. Okay, so one we're just looking at sort of here, that is 36 degrees. Okay, and then the other one is at a longitude of 123 degrees east. All right, so that's going to be sort of more around kind of here, let's say. Okay, so that's 123 degrees east, and this is 36 degrees west, okay? And we want to calculate the distance between those two points. So what we've essentially created here, let's call that O, the center, okay? We actually have a sector of a circle, okay, with quite a wide angle in the middle of it, okay? The radius six is 6,400. The angle in the center is going to be 123 plus 36. Sorry, 1, 2, 3 plus 36. So 159 degrees in the middle there. Um, and we therefore want to work out the arc length. Okay, so that's going to give us the distance. Okay, that's what we want to find. All right, so our distance is an arc length and it is going to be 159 degrees out of a possible 360 degrees multiplied by the circumference of this full circle which is 2 times pi times 6400. Okay, so 159 divided by 360 times by 2 times pi times 6400. Okay, that's the exact answer. Control enter to get it as a decimal and we want the answer to the nearest kilometre, 
um, and the question will you, questions will always specify in the exam that you should use um, 6,400 kilometres as an approximation for the radius of the Earth. So everything will always be based on that number, but it will usually say that. Um, we'll just assume that every time, but it usually will specify that. Uh, so what have we got there? 17,760 to the nearest kilometre. Okay, so remember rounding. I know some of you will have been attempt been tempted to round that up because you'll have said to me, oh, well, you know, the seven rounds the four up to a five and then the five rounds the zero up to a one. Um, but we don't, um, <laughs> we don't look at anything more than just the next digit when we're looking to round. So rounding to the nearest kilometre, it's 17760.4. Forget anything that comes after that. It's a four that comes and this, that means we don't round up. Okay, example two. Calculate the distance travelled by a cruise ship that travels from point P to point Q. Okay, so we see and we've got the um, coordinates of them. We can see that they are on the same parallel of, uh, sorry, the same meridian of longitude, the 25 degree west meridian of longitude. And so that means they will fall on a great circle. This time it will be a, a vertical great circle around the circumference of the Earth. <clears throat> but it's still a great circle all the same. Okay, so this line this time doesn't represent the equator, it represents the 25 degree west meridian. Okay, and so it has a radius of 6,400 kilometres. And we have the, we, the, um, the latitude of each of those two points is going to be important here. So if we imagine that this is the equator here, okay, then we have one point that is 18 degrees north. Okay, so it's going to be up here, and that's point P. So that, that is 18. Okay, and then point Q is 30 degrees south. So that is 30. And so effectively, we have a sector with an angle of 30 plus 18, so 48 degrees at the centre, and with a radius of 6,400 kilometres. And so therefore we can find the distance from P to Q along this um, meridian of latitude. It's going to be 48 degrees out of a possible 360 degrees multiplied by 2 pi times the radius, which is 6,400 kilometres. Okay, so 48 on 360 multiplied by 2 times pi times 6,400. Control enter, we want to answer to the nearest kilometre. And so that is approximately 5,362 kilometres to the nearest kilometre. Okay, example three. The cities of Washington DC in the USA and Lima in Peru are 5,625 kilometres apart. They both lie on the same meridian. What is the angle formed at the centre of the Earth by the two cities? Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Okay, so again, we're imagining a great circle that's sort of a vertical cut through the Earth. Okay, so there's going to be our centre of the Earth. This one, we don't know what the actual um, meridian is. We just know they lie on the same meridian. But this circle is a meridian and it's anti-meridian. Um, so yeah, I guess actually I probably should have labelled this side of this circle as the 25 degree west meridian. Because actually the other half of that great circle from there to there, this would actually be, um, so what would that be? The 155 degree east meridian. So the one that's 180 degrees away from it on the other side. Um, but that's not really relevant. So here we've got a, a meridian. Um, we've got Washington DC and Lima. Uh, in Peru are 5,625 kilometres apart. Now a little bit of geography on my part tells me that DC is in the Northern Hemisphere and Peru is in the Southern Hemisphere. So Lima will be in the Southern Hemisphere. We are trying to work out the angle formed at the centre of the Earth by the two cities. Okay, so that angle there. And with this time we know the distance. So we know that that distance is 5,625 kilometres. Okay, so we know how we know we have a connection between distance and that angle, um, and so we can use that connection. It's a great circle, so this radius is 6,400. Okay, so this time we know that the we always know the distance 
is the angle at the center divided by 360 times 2 pi r. So in this case, we know this distance, oops, sorry, 5,625, and we don't know the angle, but we do know the radius of the Earth. And so we can get our cars to solve that for the angle. So menu 31, we're going to be solving 5,625 equals an unknown value divided by 360 multiplied by 2 times pi times 6,400. And we're going to solve for that unknown value, which I called x in the equation in the case. Right, that's the exact value. Control enter to get it as a decimal. So the angle is approximately, so I've, my diagram is not at all to scale. They're obviously both fairly close to the equator because the angle in between them, I'm just checking that I'm in degree mode, which I am in my CAS, is, uh, and we want two decimal places, is 5.04 degrees, the angle between those two cities. Okay, the work for today, practicing finding distances along great circles, is from exercise 19b. Actually, I just pressed stop on that recording and was thinking further about it. And I don't think my geography is that far out. Washington DC and Lima in Peru are certainly not that close together. And uh, when I had a look, closer look at my CAS, I accidentally typed 64,000 as the radius. Um, so let's fix that. 6,400, control enter. And it was actually out by a factor of 10. Okay, so two decimal places. Let's fix that. My apologies. Hopefully you realised my error before I did. Um, so it is 50 point to two decimal places, that is 36 degrees between those two cities.